G'day guys. Now, if you've looked online for roulette strategies, then I'm sure you've seen just how many videos there are. Now, in my research, I've combed through and I've actually watched a lot of these videos. So today I wanna to bring you the top three roulette strategies that I've managed to found. I'm gonna cover how you can actually play these systems as well as their pros and cons and a couple extra tips that I've learned along the way. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so coming in at number three, we have a strategy called ride or die. Now this is super easy to play and it's super simple. Basically, all you're gonna do is you're gonna place a one unit bet on any one of these dozens. Now, when that one wins, what we're gonna do is we're gonna now place that $30 that we get onto the second dozen. And then if that one wins, what we're gonna do is now we're gonna take this $90 that we've got and we're gonna chuck that on our last dozen. So that'll give us, hopefully, if we win that one, a total profit of $270 from three bets. Now, I'll, I'll give it a couple goes and I'll see if I can get it to work. If you can get it to work, this strategy has huge upside. The the potential to you know win $270 off a $10 bet or however big you want to make it is is really huge. The issue is that it, it's really hard to actually get to work. You know the chances of you actually hitting each dozen in a row and managing to win like that is something like 3%. So it's incredibly slim odds for you to actually win. You can see I haven't even managed to win the first dozen here. So if you can get lucky, it's fantastic. If you can't, then it's really not a great strategy. This is why I'm putting it at number three. This strategy is fantastic and what I use it for personally is at the end of a night. If I've gone out gambling and you know I've spent $500 and now I'm down to my last 50, this is how I'm gonna finish it. This is how I'm gonna make sure I spend those last couple dollars because this is the only strategy that'll actually give me the chance to bring that back roll, bank roll back up. And generally after losing a couple hundred dollars, I'm pretty over gambling. So this way it's super easy, super simple, nothing to think about. You just place one there, if it wins, three there. If that wins, nine there. And hopefully you walk out 270 bucks richer, but fortunately it doesn't happen most of the times. Alrighty, so coming in at number two, we have a strategy that I'm sure you guys have probably used before, and if you haven't used it, then I'm sure you guys have seen it used, because it's just that common. It's called the Golden Entry by the CEG Dealer School, or I prefer to call it the Fibonacci Dozens, because that's a little bit more explanatory about what's going on. Essentially, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going back on these Dozens bets, but we're only going to be choosing one this time. Once we choose one, we're going to be placing our bets according to a Fibonacci progression. So every time we lose, we're going, to, we're going to go up one of these steps. So the Fibonacci progression, for those that aren't aware, it goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and just continues on, where you add the last two numbers in order to get the next number. So I'm going to place this $10 bet on one of these dozens and we're just going to spin and I'll explain some of its you know, pros and cons. So we've lost there, we go back to a $1 bet or a one unit bet and go again. The pros of a Fibonacci is that because we're betting on this dozen is it's we're maintaining the profitability no matter how many spins we do. With a Martingale you're only going to get you know one unit bet or whatever your original bet back was on that return. This, the profit can seem to vary between four units, one unit, and it gets really high if you manage to get to those Fibonacci progressions that are extremely late. That's why if you manage to lose 10, 11, 12 times in a row with a system like this, as long as you've got the bankroll, that's a good scenario for you because it means the next bet that you're actually gonna win, you win a higher percentage on profit of profit than compared to your early bets. And that's why the Fibonacci works so well. When you compare it to a Martingale, it's a little bit worse mathematically, but the thing you gotta take into account is that we're not doubling our bet each time. A martingale, we have to keep doubling and the amount of money that we're putting down gets very large really, really quickly. I'm sure if you've used it, then, you know, after a couple losses, suddenly we're embedding our entire bankroll just to get a one unit win. And it's, it's not really feasible. With a Fibonacci, you can see we managed to do it two one unit bets, and then we go to the two, then we go to the three. So the progression into these higher unit bets is much slower, meaning that it's much less likely that you're gonna reach them, and that you can have a lot more bankroll in order to play more spins. So I personally, don't use this strategy a lot simply because I've I've had it you know fail on me one too many times. I've seen it work fantastically for other people. Um, I just yeah, it's I find it a little bit boring just trying to focus on 
one number and not changing the bet ever. If, if I ever do use this strategy, the way that I specifically implement it is I'll sit there and I'll watch the wheel and I'll make sure that I pay attention to which dozens have hit and then whichever two dozens hit, I then start to place my bet on the dozen that hasn't hit. And that way I can just sort of ensure that it's not more likely that, you know, because no, no spin depends on another spin. They're all independent events. This isn't the gambler's fallacy where if it's heads time a hundred times in a row, then it's got to be tails. That's, that's not how it works. But by doing it this way, we can have a look at within the number of spins that we've done, the chances of it occurring or the chances of us getting a loss in that number of spins is much slimmer than if we were to look at them, you know, on a spin by spin basis. So I hope that's a little bit clearer for you guys. Um, I can go through and I have gone through the mathematics of the Fibonacci system before, and I've done many other similar systems that use Fibonacci progressions just on different bets. So if you're interested in them, I'll leave a couple links down below. This is the one that CEG Dealer School prefers. This is the easiest one to execute and it's it'll let you play roulette for a good bit of time if you want to. But as for me, I prefer our next strategy, which is number one, the triple entry max climax. Now this was actually given CEG Dealer School's top strategy of the year. And it's also rated the top strategy by Jack Ace. So it's definitely got some credibility to it. Essentially how we start this strategy is we're gonna place a five unit bet on odd or even, a five unit on red or black, and a five unit on high or low. Now, depending on how many of these bets actually win, that changes our progression into the next step. So I'm gonna spin and I'll show you guys as we go through and hopefully I can explain a little bit better. So you can see there, we managed to win one. So we won one out of our three bets. When you win one out of the three bets, what you're going to do is you're gonna take that win. So we're gonna place, we bet five units, we won 10. So we're gonna take our win of 10 units and we place it on a dozen. Now, if we were to win two out of the three bets, what we're gonna do is we do the same thing except we'd place it on two dozens. So that way we'd have two 10 unit bets on two dozens. Now, from this, if we do actually manage to win this spin, so we'll, we'll see. So there we go, we've won that one. So if you manage to win one of those dozens, or if you place those three bets and all three win on the first spin, that's when you go to this next money-making stage. And that's what, and that's where we're gonna place $30 onto 10 different bit numbers. And, th and that's where we're gonna place three units on 10 different numbers. So for me, that's gonna be $30, and I'm gonna place them on 10 different numbers like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I like to place them along this black line here, like a little snake. You don't have to, you can place them however you'd like. And there's a couple different variations that I'll talk about in a minute on how you can actually place your bets. But essentially this is the money making stage. This is the one where you actually make the money and walk away with the profits. If that had managed to hit, we would have walked away with a profit of over $1,000. And we'll manage to get that profit of over $1,000 from just an initial three bets of $50 on our base units. Now, not only does this strategy have the huge ability to make you money, it also has multiple backup steps in order to help you recoup your losses so that even if you lost that first spin and didn't get the ideal result, you still have many opportunities to be able to build up and bet on those 10 numbers. So that's why this dozen, you know, adding it to the dozen, that's essentially giving you a second chance at making sure you have enough profit and enough bankroll in order to place those 10 bets. Now, like I was saying, you could combine this strategy with another strategy like the Holy Grail, which I'll link down below. And the Holy Grail works by keeping track of which numbers seem to hit more frequently. And now if you combine that with this step and you place your 10 bets on those 10 most frequent numbers, then you might even have better luck. And personally, that's how generally I play the system when I'm really invested, but it does require you to sit down, start taking notes and really pay attention to what spins you are doing. Otherwise, this, this is just a strategy that can, it's very engaging, it'll keep you occupied. You know, there's many different bets to be had and rather than sitting there flat betting and just wasting your money and wasting the night away, you can actually engage with the board and then depending on how it wins and you know, how many wins you're getting, you can actually change the bets rather, rather than just, you know, increasing to the next progression with something like Fibonacci or, you know, just hoping for the best with ride or die. And that's why I personally think that this strategy is 
And that's why I personally think that this strategy is right at the top. Now, if you're interested in what strategy I actually use, I don't typically use any of these three. There is a more favorite method that I prefer to use. And now it's not mathematically based. It's not scientifically based. It is more luck based and more gut based. And that's why I prefer to go with it. And now if you're interested in that one, I'll leave a link down below where you can find that video. It's a strategy that I've used in the past and it's definitely been the most profitable for me. However, it hasn't been covered by CEG Dealer School or Jack Ace. So unfortunately, I'm not sure what their opinions on the system are, but if you guys are interested, I'll leave the link down there. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more, then please make sure you like and subscribe. It's absolutely incredible to see you guys engaging with this content and knowing that you're liking it. I, it's a true joy for me to produce. And hopefully some of you guys can use these strategies in order to win some money. But with that, uh, that's all that I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, make sure you smack that button down below. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.